Shalom, Kohalo, Yehawah, Bahashim, Yavasha, Bahashim, Raka Kodash, the bondage to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well and who taught us this truth. Sincere salutations to you, Akiam and Akwat, and on the four corners of the globe, believing this truth and pushing this truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of the election be upon your houses. This is your brother Rakaya from the GMS Orlando camp. And this lesson, the title of this lesson is going to be The End of This Age. All right, because here it is, we're in January 2nd, uh, the second day of the supposed, the supposed new year. And a lot has already happened, you know, concerning prophecy wise. All right. So I got a couple of scriptures I want to bring out, two videos I want to bring out, Lord's willing, and an article as well. You know, Lord's willing, this be edifying to the elect because a lot of signs and, 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 and prophecies are popping off to tell us, to show us those who are are. are paying attention and watching diligently that Yahweh Shai is, is making his second return, man. The Lord is fed up with this place. All right. The Lord is about to liberate us. He's about to free us from this captivity. But this is Isaiah 29 and verse six. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest. And the flame of devouring fire. Now I've got two videos that's going to illustrate this point. Uh, here, the first one is from RT News. Check it out. It says, flooding in Indonesia. At least 16 dead, ten, tens of thousands displaced. All right. There you see it, and you know what's uh, what's uh, crazy is, I just did a video about a, a Akiem that's down in Indonesia, you know, an Israelite down in Indonesia proclaiming the name, proclaiming the names of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai in the Lord's Prayer, in the Batak language, but um, and that was like a couple of days ago, you know, but we pray and we know that the Akiem is safe through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, and these things are just. Our visitations from the Lord, you know, letting us know that he's he's making his second return. You know what I'm saying? These things must happen. But uh, here's the second video. All right, because as the as the Lord is flooding the earth, he's also burning. Facing all straight. All right. He's also burning this earth up. This is a, a video from BBC News. Australian state declares bushfire emergency. And these bushfires and these different um, um, forest fires have been raging more and more fierce. All right, these past couple of months, man. All right, they've been it's been tearing up the Amazon. These fires have been tearing up the Amazon rainforest, man. They've been tearing up California, and now they're tearing up Australia. The Lord has these fires all throughout the earth, man, kindling, kindling the fire, man. He said the scripture says. Uh, um, uh, let me see if I could get it real quick. Um, look it up.
This is Luke 12 and 49. It says, I come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? Right. And the Lord is coming to send fire on this earth, but he, he's, kindling, he's kindling it before he gets here, man. With all these bushfires and, and, and forest fires and, and, and different um, pop-up fires, you know what I'm saying? But uh, here's the video. Hello, with at least eight people known to have died since Monday alone and thousands continuing to shelter in evacuation centres, the terrifying scale of Australia's bushfire disaster is beginning to emerge. A mass exodus from southern New South Wales is underway with long lines of cars clogging highways leading right back to Sydney and Canberra. Fire officials have told holidaymakers to urgently leave a long stretch of coastline before more ferocious fires are expected to sweep in over the weekend. Not everyone wants to go. Seeing just all the locals, I can see they're all nervous and anxious and everyone's just on edge. Looking at the queues here, it would be a long, long trip. Uh, we actually think we'd be better off staying here. Our motorhome's parked by the water. Um, if anything does happen, we can just go down to the water. And these devils are so proud, they're, they're, they refuse to leave in the midst of a crisis, man. The Lord has put it in their hearts to stay, to stay <laughs> ten toes down on their ground, man, you know, while the fire rages on. Which is ultimately it's going to consume them, man. The Lord is willing. But, um, well, the fire itself is colossal. Flames have been reported to have reached 70 metres high. But these pictures uh, from Monday show huge blazes in the state of Victoria. The plume of smoke generated by the inferno covers five and a half million square kilometres. That's the size of Europe. That thick black cloud is now drifting towards New Zealand and its pristine snowy mountains and glaciers. Let's take you live to Phil Mercer, who joins us now uh, live from Sydney. And we're not even at the peak of the bushfire season, Phil. Well, what makes this crisis unprecedented is that this fire season has started much earlier than normal and these fires are more widespread than normal and they are burning with an intensity that few Australians have ever seen. So these fires are out of, out of record breaking, man. All right. And not only are these fires affecting the people, man, they're affecting the oxygen, man, because we need trees to, to, to for, for oxygen sake. All right. These these uh, black smoke clouds, as you heard, are affecting the uh, the climate as well, man. They're covering the glaciers, man. All right, and they're also affecting the animals. All right, I have this article real quick before I play on that video of of how many animals have died in these Australian wildfires, man. And it's 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 crazy. It's astronomical. All right, this is a article from the Independent uh, dot UK, I believe. It says Australia wildfires. Half a billion animals and plants killed as glaciers turn black. Half a billion animals and plants killed as glaciers turn black. The wildfire crisis ra raging Australia has wreaked environmental havoc since it began in September, wiping out almost 500 million animals and turning glaciers in, in New Zealand black. Eco Ecologists at University of Sydney estimate around 480 million animals have been killed in the wildfires, including 8,000 8, koalas. It says officials fear that 30% of the koala colony in New, in New South Wales have been destroyed as 10 million acres of land burned to the ground in the state. Nature Con Conservation Council Ecolo ecologist Mark Graham told Parliament Koalas really have no capped capacity to move fast enough to get away from the flames. It says the fires have burned so hot and so fast that there has been significant mortality of animals in, in the trees. But there is such a big area now that is still on fire and still burning that we probably never find bodies. All right. And um, you can actually go and look up the videos of how fast these wildfires spread. The, the, at the at the at the back of the wind, man, they they spread like a couple of a couple of feet, you know, a couple of um a couple of acres within an hour, man. All right, it says 
skip down. It says, Tracy Burgess, a volunteer, said, we're not getting as many animals coming into our care. So our concern is that they, do, they don't come in care because they're not there anymore, basically. And these animals aren't coming into these ice, uh, these different animal hospitals to get treatment because this fire is devouring them, man. All right? This fire is devouring everything in its path. And it's sent on this earth by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? As a sign and as a wonder. But, um, let's play a little bit more of the video, then we'll get Matthew 24. So this is uh, really the challenge facing Australia's authorities, the federal government, state governments and also the fire services in many Australian states. How do they cope with infernos on this scale? And what's happened in southern New South Wales or what happened on New Year's Eve really came at the worst possible time. This is uh, a very popular tourist destination. Many families, residents, retirees and uh, other people would have been down on the coastline enjoying Christmas and New Year's festivities. And that's why the evacuation is so chaotic and complicated. There are so many people in the fire zone. Some don't want to leave, others are and this is all in the midst of, of the new, the so-called new year, man. <laughs> all right. The Lord is starting this new year off with a bang, man, with fire. All right. This is Matthew 24 and verse 3. He says, and, he, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And we're seeing <clears throat> a lot of wars and rumors of wars, man. All right, matter of fact, I was just reading an article. Uh, one of the Akim sitting in the chat. <clears throat> it says, from the natural uh, national interest, make no... Make no mistake, China would destroy U.S. cities in a nuclear war. And let's get the key point. It says the world's largest nuclear powers are all upgrading their arsenals. All these different countries, Russia, Iran, China, North Korea, and so on and so forth, are all up in their military, uh, military um, power, you know, in order to fight this, uh, in order to fight and destroy America, man. All right. All these nations are gearing up for war. They're preparing for war because these nations are tired of America being the bully. All right. They're getting ready to take her down. But um, going back, he says, <clears throat> and you shall hear wars and rumors of war. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against king kingdom. And there shall be famines. All right. And what do we see? What we're on? The, what are we on the brink of a famine of the word? We're also seeing that there's a famine within the um, food, the crops, the water. Um, uh, have we not been experiencing a um, a crop failure? Crop failure since has the, the U.S. has been experiencing crop failure since August of last year, man. All right, we're seeing what thousands of farms close in Europe. We're seeing what fourteen different um, grocery store chains close here in the U.S. All right. We're on the brink of a famine, man. Okay? Both the famine of the word and the famine of bread and water, man. It says, and pestilences. Aren't all these different uh, superbugs popping up here in America? These different swarmings of locusts and, and frogs popping up over here in America and over in uh, the Middle East? We're seeing these things, man. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. And if you go out and check it out, man... Um, you know, I actually check this out every other couple of days, but, um, if you look up earthquakes in January 1st, 2020, this is from Volcano Discovery. It says the summary is 172 quakes. M2, 65 quakes, M3, 40, um, um, 
45 quakes in 4 and 12 quakes in 5. 294 quakes total, man. There have been 294 earthquakes total from the beginning of this year. And we're just in the second day of this year. We're just in the second day of the uh, of January uh, uh, of 2020, man, and it's already been 294 earthquakes. It's nothing to take lightly, man. All right, the Lord is speaking through through prophecy, man. All right, it says, and all these are the beginning of sorrows, right? These are just the beginning of sorrows, man. All right, because we still have what's coming, known as Jacob's trouble, man. All right. Which is going to come upon all the all the world, man. All of Israel especially. To try them that dwell upon the earth, man. It's going to be a day like never before seen. Pursuing the Daniels 12, man. These are just the beginning of sorrows. We still got uh, race riots, martial law, FEMA camps, RFID microchip to go through, man. We still have many more prophecies to go through. All right. So these, these things that we're seeing upon the earth are just the beginning, man. All right. They're just the beginning. The Lord is just beginning to show his hand. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And we see this brewing up with this persecution of uh, the uh, Israelites on the news media, man. All right, they're trying to make us out to be terrorists and, and evil villains, you know what I'm saying? So that they have justification to deliver us up into these different councils and noblemen, all right, and to kill us. Okay, but we know these things must happen. All right, we know these things must happen. Okay, it says, And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise, and shall deceive many. And you got many false prophets, especially of the house of Israel, rising up nowadays uh, with, with um, Fopi, you know, telling them, um, saying that all the 12 tribes are black, saying that it's okay to go out there wearing a a bulletproof vest with fringes on it saying it's okay to carry guns to camp and and, and so on and so forth all right a lot of these israelite groups are, are are popping up or new new israelite groups are popping up man all right and and they're just, they're deceiving many of our people man with these different false doctrines and heresies man okay but we know that all these different false prophets that pop up aren't going to deceive the elect all right the elect are already sealed through the spirit you know, they already got that tunnel vision from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, they're steadfast on the truth, the hundred percent truth. Okay, it says, and because iniquity iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. All right, and because sin has abounded on this earth, people have become lovers of themselves, man. That the, the love of many has waxed cold. All right, matter of fact, let's get um Second Timothy's man. You know, this is Second Timothy three in verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. These are all things that's happening because iniquity has abounded on this earth, man. Under the rule of Esau, Edom, these Edomites, the basis, the lowest of the low. All right. It says, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All right. And these things are abounding on the earth because iniquity is abounding. You see? The laws aren't being put forth from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Righteousness is not being it's not flourishing in the land like it's supposed to. Therefore, we're getting all these 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 different things as a result of it. Alright. It says, But he shall but he shall but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And that's right. Those who endure to the end of these tribulations, these afflictions, the Lord's willing we be of that number, the same shall be saved. Because we aren't saved right now. All right, we still have a lot to go through. Like the scripture said, these are just the beginning of sorrows. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, we're looking forward to that victory, man. All right, 
We say fuck losing. We looking we looking to win, man. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Straight up. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And we know that this word has been reaching the four corners of this earth, man. All right, just did a lesson on one of the Akiyam uh, in Indonesia, man. Okay? We know this word is reaching the four corners of the earth by way of this internet, by way of the street preaching. All right? So we know that the end is nigh, man. All right? This word has been preached. They've heard this gospel. Those who have need to, um, those who have need to hear it, man. All right? It says, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of the desolation, spoken by Daniel the prophet, said, Stand in the holy place, whoso read it, let him understand. Let's just skip down to... um. 19 it says and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter nor on the Sabbath day For then shall there be great tribulation such as not since the beginning of the world to this time No, nor ever shall be and we can read about that In Daniel 12 man All right The time that is coming upon this earth is, is going to be like ne never before seen, man. Okay? This is why we have to be preparing ourselves through the Spirit. All right? Building our spirits up. Building our trust. Our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. These things are a necessity for those of us who plan on winning. That is, you know, those of us who want to win. All right? Because it's ultimately, it's not of us. It's of the will of the Heavenly Father. All right? But we have to put on, therefore, as the elect. This is Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And that at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be, that shall be found written in the book. So at the same time, the Lord is pre prescribing death and destruction and a time like never never before seen, all right? At the same time, he's um, proclaiming the downfall and the loss of many. He's also proclaimed the, uh, the victory, all right, for those who are written in the book, the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, that 144,000 uh, men, all right, 12,000 from each tribe, and the one-third innumerable multitude consisting of men, women, and children from the nation of Israel, all right? The Lord has proclaimed loss and victory, for those who trust in him. All right. Victory for those who trust and have faith in him. And loss for those who forbear and and and, and um forsake this word, man. Forsake you how about Shimon Shai. But um it says And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. And that's right, if these things continue to play on as they've been playing on these fires, these persecutions, man, these, this, just, just all this unrighteousness, man. There will be no flesh to be saved. Esau Eden will completely destroy everything, man. With his, GM, with his GMOs, his chemtrails, his unrighteous decrees, everything this devil has put forth. If the Lord doesn't shorten these days, there will be no flesh to be saved, man. All right? But the Lord said, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right? It says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Hamashiach, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Hamashiach and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. <laughs> Behold, I have told you before. Right. So the Lord said, Look, I told you these things before they even happened, man. All right, that all these things are going to happen, that people are going to rise false prophets, false anointed, saying that uh, they're the Heavenly Father or they're a prophet of the Lord, and they're going to show great signs, man. It's going to be to the point where even the um, it says in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect, man. That's how crucial it's going to get. But as it is written, all right, let's get Romans chapter 8. The elect are not going to Fall for the wilds of the devil, man. 
all right? They're not going to fall victim to these, these different um, signs and wonders from these false prophets. It says, this is Romans 8 and 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Heavenly Father. And to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom, we just, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. He says, what shall we say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? All right. But the point is, man, that the Lord already has already has this predestined. All right. That's not going to um, conform to the image. Um, that's already conformed to the image of his son, man. And that's not going to conform to anything else that's put out here by these different false prophets and false anointing, man. But um, it says, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Right. Immediately after this tribulation, World War Three, all right, these nations are going to shoot these... Um, ICBMs over here, man. It's going to be so many, it's going to darken up the sun, man. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, Yahweh Shai. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, the, the so called UFOs, the chariots of Israel, all right, the IFOs. It says, Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. All right, let's get Isaiah. Eleven and eleven it says, and at and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea, man. All right. So when this when these things come to pass and the Lord comes back. All right. Wreaking havoc on this place, man. And delivering his elect. His elect are going to get beamed up from all the four corners of the earth. Not only just here in America, but all over, all over the earth, man. Okay. Um, and that's about it on that, man. You know, so <clears throat> in closing out, let's get second edges 14. Um, and 10. All right. Because with all these things coming to pass, with all these prophecies coming to pass and all this destruction and, and, and death that's happening on this earth. All right. The world is losing its youth. OK, this is uh, second edges 14 and 10 for the world has lost, hath lost his youth and the times begin to wax old for the world is divided into 12 parts and the 10 parts of it are gone already and a half a 10th part. And this is at the time of Edris. So what, imagine what part we're on now, man. We're on that last part, man. Okay. It says, and there remaineth that which is after the half of the 10th part. Now, therefore set thine house in order, right? Seeing that all these things are, 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 are have came to pass. And we're at that last part, man. Now is the time to set our house in order. It says, and reprove thy people. Comfort such as them as be in trouble. And now renounce corruption. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put now off, put off now the weak nature. Set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. And that's right, man. We're supposed to be letting go of these mortal thoughts, man. All right? Reproving our people. Comforting our people. You know, building them up. As well as as well as building ourselves up, all right, and setting aside these these thoughts that are most heavy unto us, and running this race that is set before us with patience, man. All right, 
It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall, shall be done hereafter. All right. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much the world shall, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. All right. For the time is fled far away and leasing is hard at hand. For now hasteth the vision to come, which thou hast seen. And the vision is hastening to come, all right? These prophecies are hastening, all right? The Lord is speeding them up for his elect sake. These are why these different fires and earthquakes and tempests and, 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 and rumors of wars and wars and, 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 and persecutions, all these things are happening, all right? Because the Lord is hastening the times, man. He's beginning to, 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 to show his hand, man, all right? So with that being said, you know, keep paying attention. Be 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 keep being uh, diligent and vigilant. All right, because the Lord is 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 speaking all the time, man. All the time, the Lord is speaking. So with that being said, man, shalom.